triggering the sneeze. Oh, come on, dude. So lame, man. Losing a run to a sneeze. I know. Two sneezes was fine. I always double sneeze. Who doesn't always double sneeze, right? But the third sneeze, wasn't expecting that. I can successfully say I've lost the run to a sneeze now. Your son hits five, six sneezes? I'm not a five, six sneezer. I'm definitely a 1-3 sneezer. Oh, that sneeze will be on YouTube. Trust me. Five to six is quite menacing for sneeze count. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. I mean, we all admit sneezing feels good, but there's like this weird... There's this weird point where it's like, okay, it doesn't feel good anymore. About once a month, you'll have an insane sneezing fit where I sneeze 30 to 50. What? That's, that is an insane amount. Double sneezer. Yo, Narf man, you've been practicing your any percent no wrong warp? Here, look, that's how you make that jump right there, buddy. It's funny, because, like, I know you know all of the jumps to make. If I was so skilled, I wouldn't have had to reset from that sneeze. Yeah, do, definitely do the flight flower grab. Do you know that one? I'm guessing you do. The flight flower grab is is clutch. Watch, it's time to learn. See that narc man? I tried to do the squire like you. Every time I sneeze, there's a 50% chance I get a cramp in my boy bits. What does that mean? I get your groin, but what's a cramp? I don't know what a penis cramp is. I thought, like, as soon as you said cramp, I was like, oh yeah, I get that too sometimes. Like, right in my side, like, I'll get a cramp if I sneeze too much. It's funny feeling in my jibblies. Gotta, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't you know you gotta work that cramp out manually? That's not a cramp, that's called horniness. Ah, oh, it's the old man. I'm not old enough? Do I not understand because I'm not old enough? That cramp is called blue balls. The post sneeze chub? That sounds awful. My sneezes are gone though, I think. I hope. Like, imagine sneezing when you're like 86 years old and like walking is tough and right, you're going all crazy slow. 
I've never seen a really old person sneeze before, and I'm worried for when I'm old and I have to sneeze like that. Yo, Jablum, thanks for that video. Very insightful. I'm curious. It makes me wonder, like... Right? Because... Because I upload a drum video doesn't mean people dislike my content. It just means that because people necessarily aren't directly interested in that, by not clicking it means that they might not be recommended my next Mario video because... Yeah, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. I know, I really like the drum video too. Drum videos are fun to make. WRD with the support. Also, guys, do not forget if you do want to add. Wait, I missed what you said, Jabin. Yeah, but you see, the problem is with the drum videos, Jabin, is that, like, even if I make a whole new channel with drum videos, that's a lot of work. And I honestly, I don't make that many drum videos. Not to mention the cross. The cross-platforming advertising I would have to do is also, like, a lot more work. The drum videos are honestly there just because, like, one day I'm like, Oh, I'll do this song cover, and then I, I don't even, like... I don't even upload the video in, like, the every other day formula. I just, like, throw it up there because I'm like, hey, throw it up there. But I, I might make a secondary channel. Mitch's music channel! It was a very, very nice video to watch. We got two hands, I know. Yo, give it up for WRD with the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Space Cadets, again. E-Rock, oh my god. You guys are coming in way too clutch right now. Yeah, so the funny thing about YouTube is like, you. YouTube, like, unless you directly constantly watch all of my different content and like it constantly, which you would hope that all of my subscribers would do that, it's, as bad as it sounds, it's, even if you like it, that's not, that's not what matters, unfortunately. To YouTube, to me, it matters. But to YouTube, what matters is the majority of my audience, what they click, right? So if you click my drum videos, but 90% of my subscribers don't, well, you can almost kiss those goodbye kind of thing, right? And that's just the way YouTube works. Algorithm, exactly. He singled out one poor dude. Well, you know, that was a good example. YouTube is such a jerk. Don't worry, I'm not a jerk. Honestly, it's like, the idea of making a secondary channel for my music stuff anyways is also more useless because I don't make money off my drum videos because the music is copy copyright, which I'm fine with. I mean, I don't even try and put ads on my drum videos, but the whole work it would take, just uh, it wouldn't even be worth it. <clears throat> Nobody watches your stuff on YouTube. YouTube's hard to get into.
most co most con uh, content that people think is interesting is not interesting at all. But yeah, yo, thank you very much for the 10 gift subs, and we also have Space Cadets with the two subs. Now, let me remind you guys, if you guys also would really like to support me, there is a button on my YouTube page called Join. There is a Join button, and I would highly encourage all of you to go join my YouTube. It's cheaper than joining Twitch. It's, it's cheaper than subbing on Twitch. Shut up, everyone. This is my little pitch, all right? Just deal with it. It's my little pitch. Talk about it for two seconds. We can move on. It's $3.99. You can potentially get earlier video and comment priority. Think about it. I would really, really appreciate it. Yeah, little pitch. The pitch is over. I, that's it. I needed like two seconds. There's a join button. Click it. $3.99 a month. Easy peasy. Sub 11? No, I got two hands. Helps me out a lot. Nice try, Bowser. Yeah, you joined Stew. That's right. Comment priority means is that I will see your comment above everyone else's and I can reply to it before anyone else. You guys also have video priority as well. When I go to upload a video, you guys have 24 hours to watch that video before it actually goes like full public live. So you get video priority and comment priority. It's like $3.99, it's the same as Twitch. You don't have to, but it would help me a lot. Let's not worry about it, let's move on. Any percent note wrong warp, 1134 with two hands, let's go. Should've went for the basement? I don't have a star, Red Luigi. Yeah, pretty good time with two hands. Yeah, that's right. Dabloom Sticks, thank you for the sub. Uh, CC Bloom with the resubscription, thank you very much. We're five away from being back at 600 already. Thank you guys. Not so much, Moon Boots. You also pay to get to watch my videos before everyone else. I'll, honestly, I think that's the best perk, that you guys get to watch the video before everyone else. That's pretty good. It's cheaper than going to the movies. That is what a true friend does. I mean, I would show my friends videos before I upload them, but I don't have any friends. How much earlier? Yeah, I, yeah. I'll probably give you guys 24 hours to watch it before it goes live. You'll you'll get note. So, if you join my YouTube page or whatever, you'll get notified when I do a members only video, just like a normal video, and and it'll only be recommended to you guys. Now, I am curious though, if you're not subscribed but you are a member, what does that mean? <laughs> do you still get notified? Like, I don't I don't get it. Do 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 SMB3 ROM hack world record vid? Yeah, we gotta get that world record, don't we? We gotta get that world record run, don't we? You had me muted? Yeah, that would, uh... That was awkward as heck. Ooh. 
Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Such a sexy tunnel right there. I was wondering if I was going to get it or not. Boom. Beep, 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 beep. Not bad. So the reason that happens is sometimes when you run over that one tile gap, as I'm walking over the hole is the time where the P meter is like, yeah, let's build another arrow. Um, but since I'm not walking on flat ground, the arrow's like, well, we can't because he's not on the ground. It's weird how it works like that, isn't it? I was thinking about putting something clever like that in the, uh, the next... The next video of things you don't know about Mario 3, because I'm gonna do another one. Right? So, like I said, if you were a member, the next video that I do where it's like, hey, the top 10 things you don't know about Mario 3, my members would get to watch that first. But anyways, I was gonna do stuff like if you walk over a gap with the P-meter, like get really complicated with it. I don't know if I should or not. I don't think I will. Mini game with no splits? Let's go. You guys will be able to see. Hold on. I will split here. I'll split for you guys. There, let's see what we get. 1650.88. 40 minute time save. That's juicy gold. That's big juicy gold. Oh, gee, no winners? I wonder why. How many tattoos do you have? I have like four. Do both my key meters count as one individual tattoo? I think they do. One, two, three. You have five tattoos right on. Yeah, I have this tattoo, and then I have another one. Weep. Going a little too fast there. Hello, how's it going? So even this video could technically have a negative impact on my YouTube because it's much longer than my average video. It's so weird how YouTube works. Yo, WRD with the gift sub to elusive one. Thank you. Very generous today, WRD. You're very generous today. Thank you. Thank you for your positive comments. I really appreciate it. Do 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 do. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes <clears throat> these levels do look like they were built for speedrunning, but they're definitely not. Maybe some levels are. 
Like, obviously, 7-7 seven, seven was built for speedrunning, because you get stars and you have to keep them the whole time. But back then, it wouldn't even be called speedrunning, would it? I wonder what they call it. There's... Well, it's not unlimited P-Wings, but I have a lot because of New Game Plus. I like the pyramid here with the P-Wing too, it's pretty fun. as good as I wanted it to be. <clears throat> I can't believe I tail swiped them. That was actually pretty funny. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a little screwed over here. We gotta get the music box. We don't have a choice. Hand it over. <laughs> the tail swipe slide, oh yeah. Which is your favorite SMB3 category? For the longest time, it was warpless, but I don't know, man. I'm a toss up. I honestly, I'm tossed between any percent, no wrong warp, warpless, and 100%. They're all really good in their own way. Hundred percent is a very good category. The correct answer is all forts. I did, I tried, I tried, hey, 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 I tried to go for the off-screen wand grab. The off-screen wand grab is not something... It's not even something really you go for, but if it happens, it happens, I guess? Honestly, the hardest part about off-screen wand grab is jumping to the center of the screen and grabbing the wand. That is definitely the hardest part. <clears throat> Nah, I've been doing this for far too long. In what percentage can you do the off-screen wand grab? Like, what do you- like, what's my, like, consistency rate for nailing the off-screen wand grab? 
Why did we start the timer with the wand grab? Because I don't have four arms. Yeah, I was getting a lot of scuff in my YouTube videos about that, like, that I was incorrectly starting the timer. So, the timer was started at, like, a slight. There, there, like, there was, I was never saying it wasn't. But what I am saying is that because I don't have four arms, I can't kill the boss, start the timer when he goes off screen, ru run over to where I jump and grab the wand, and then grab the wand. Like, I can't... I can't do that all in one go, so I have to start from a consistent spot and then work from there. Yeah, there was a lot of people during that video with the off-screen wand grab on YouTube that didn't quite understand what I was trying to say. Like, no one was saying that the way I was doing it was right. What I was trying to tell people is that I can't do all- without tasking it, I can't do all those things at once. I don't have a foot pedal. A foot pedal would work though, you are right, but I don't- I don't have a foot pedal. But the, the, the point, the fact of the matter is, is like, the, what I was explaining, I like, got the point across. And the time difference was a very, very small amount as well. Like, starting the timer from when the boss went off screen to when I grabbed the wand is like, 0.2. It would have, it would have changed the time by like, 0.2 or something like that, so... No big deal, I tried not to get, like, too annoyed by it, but I- I did go to... I did go to a lot of the comments, and I tried to explain to everyone who had the same question, um, but some people just refused, they were just like... They just- they weren't having it, it was just weird. They just weren't having it. Yeah, I didn't think it was a big deal either, but I still tried to explain, you know, I, I tried to help people. I don't have 19 arms, so I can't start timer, jump, grab wand, kill enemy, right? So, you have to start from a consistent spot. Unless I was tasking it. If I was tasking it, that'd be fine. When did Milk Club get here? What up, Milk Club? Half and half club, actually. Yeah, maybe I could hire a splitter. A, a time... Yeah, put out a resume and hire one person to just sit around and start my timer and do my splits. Full-time job. Full-time job. Hey, hey, Tasty Squirrels! Welcome back for 31 months. Good to see you. You all done school? A professional splitter. Qualifications, three to five years of experience. Masters preferred. You got COVID? Oh no! You went so long without. Not too comfortable, I bet. How did, so how do you think you got it? So long without. Yeah, if you hurt yourself on the job, I can't help you. It's a pretty intense job over here. <laughs> I'm still COVID free because you haven't left your house. Word. Guess what I did yesterday? You guys will never guess it. I got a third ball. You get new hair? Thank you, but nope. You read new book? Thank you, but nope. <laughs> I I ha I went and signed up for the gym. Yes, I'm at that point. And guess what I'm doing starting February 1st? I know, I signed up for the gym. I'm a loser now. Uh, but... 
Yeah, yeah. I signed up for the gym yesterday, and I'm quitting the gym February 1st. Good luck on the triple threat. Yo, thank you, Pierce. What's up? 18 months. Good to see you. Can't cancel the gym. All right. February 1st, guys. So... On June 1st this year will be five years cold turkey quit smoking. All right? Four, four and a half years ago, whatever, last June, four years ago, I quit smoking. I smoked a pack before the day I quit cold turkey. You guys all know that. But what you guys don't know is my other addiction. Soda. That's right, soda. It's gotta go. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna have more trouble getting rid of soda as I am with, with cigarettes. The dirty secret comes out. My second addiction is soda. So I'm getting it all in, man. I'm getting all the nasty shit in, but February 1st, no more soda for me. Ever. It's It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Do, do you guys, like... It's just, it's so... It's by far the most unhealthy thing that I'm doing right now in my life. By far. Siggies, I just quit them on Jan 1st. No more soda is a good one to quit too. Hi Mitch. Thanks. Hi, like, I can't, I can't figure out... Oh shit. My P-Wings overlap my hammers. I'm fucked. I- I mean, I love soda so much. It's so good. But it's- It's the most useless, bad thing for- It shouldn't even exist. There, nothing good comes from soda. Like, what is even the point? It tastes so good, though. It's so good. I love soda so much. It has so much flavor. You never get quenched, so you want more! More! I need more. Just when you think you've had enough, you open another can! And then another can. Being made with cocaine back in the day was wild. Not really, because you could get over-the-counter cocaine for treatments, couldn't you? Unless I just said something stupid, but I'm pretty sure cocaine could be... Too bad coke isn't still made with cocaine. That sounds like someone who's tried cocaine and has realized the beauty in cocaine. Cocaine is another thing that is like one of the best things ever, but it's really bad for you and you shouldn't do it, and that's why I don't do it. Cocaine is very bad, very addictive, and destroys your body. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> Yo, I-47! Welcome back for 49 months. Very close to 50, that is right. No, the, the coke industry would never, they don't know, no, they do not put cocaine. Even small traces of cocaine is not in Coca-Cola. Not even close.
Even if, even if, even if you think, right? Even if you heard that cocaine is still in Coca-Cola, the biggest question is, where's the Coke company getting their cocaine from? Let's answer that question first. Where are they getting it from? With the government? I don't think so. Are they getting it like under the table? Are they doing secret purchases of cocaine? I don't think so. Left <laughs> leftovers. Yeah. Leftovers. Okay, that was weird. From Kevin at the street corner. Kevin? Kevin knows how to hook someone up. Celebrity parties. Yeah, Coke. Yeah, who, who from Coca Cola is going to the celebrity parties? Tastes like oranges. Mm. Not to me. What? How do you like what? Okay. They're making meth cola next. First of all, how do you guys know this? And second of all, why do you guys know this? This was supposed to be a celebration of me getting off the soda. I, I am very curious if getting off soda is going to be harder than quitting smoking for me. I don't think so. I think quitting smoking will be the hardest quit I'd ever done in my life. What do you guys think's harder, quitting smoking or quitting masturbation? Hmm. Everyone masturbates, but not everyone smokes. So what's the real question here? Yes, I know, the dirtiness. Mitch said a dirty. Mitch said a dirty. Too much <laughs> too much downtime to quit that? How can you be addicted to something you do for 15 seconds? Oh! You're just barely getting started. I mean, 20 seconds, of course. What are your guys' guilty pleasures, then? Mine has to be, like, soda and pizza, that, that sort of stuff. Booze? Booze is- that's more of a potential scary addiction. Booze is a rough one, but I mean, it's your thing, right? Junk food, yeah, chips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine's like chips and... Soda. Doritos, yeah, that's my go-to chip. Definitely. What's long necks? Yours is Twitch? 
Well, well, yeah, I guess you can have like a, a viewing addiction. If you quit soda, what do you drink with your pizza? Well, I'm gonna have to cut back on pizza. Remember, like, I'm doing the combo, right? S signing up for the gym and quitting smoking, or quitting soda. <laughs> quitting smoking. Right, so I'm trying to cut out some of, like, the nasty shit. You guys remember before I quit smoking how skinny I was? I don't want to be that skinny again, but I want to be fit. I want to be fit, sleek skinny again. So I gotta cut... I gotta cut like 30 pounds off my stomach. That's a lot. If I could weigh 130 and then start building muscle and shit... Oof. I mean, I, I know a lot of people want you to do like the, 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 the long conversion into it, where you like convert all your fat, like try and help you grow muscle and stuff, but I'm not looking to be... Where the fuck's my cloud? What kind of warpless run is this? And I don't have a hammer? What the fuck's going on here? Or you could just be healthy and weight doesn't really matter. Well... I, I would consider myself... I'm a healthy being, but I don't have healthy habits, so I need to cut those before I get fucking liver disease. God, do you guys have any idea how damaging all the soda I drink is to my body? It, like, I don't feel it and I don't see it right now because it's working. The, the soda is working its magic to kill me slowly. I gotta stop it. I gotta cut! Cut it right in half. You burn calories while masturbating. Well, I can't cut that off. It's a very important part of my workout regimen. Did I smoke while speedrunning? Yes. Yeah, like, think, think about it. If I have, like, three cans of soda while I'm just, like, chilling at night and then I go to bed, all of that garbage is just gurgling around and sloshing around in my stomach. Just getting me ever so... Just getting me a little bit fatter day by day. And if I wait too long, I'm gonna have, like, stretch marks and my body's gonna be gross when I lose weight. I don't want that. I want to keep my... Keep my juicy sex appeal up. Maybe bulk up. I'm not looking to be an action hero. The all too real talk? I mean, we're just joking around, essentially. Is this, is this talk too real for you guys? Is this, is this conversation too real for you guys? Do we need to cut it down? Cut it down a little bit to something a little more... It's making you want to go have a dart. Well, I mean, if you smoke cigarettes, it's not the worst part, right? It's too much, Mitch! Hot yoga? They offered yoga classes at the gym I signed up to yesterday, but... Tone it down a bit? Tone it down from what? I know this isn't 100%. Turn down for what? Yoga's pretty good for you? I'm doing a level that I'm not even supposed to be doing in this category, and that's where I die. It's so stupid, dude. Yoga, it's a trap. 
Yoga pants is a trap. You guys don't want to see me in yoga pants? So what so the reason I'm doing these two levels is because because I have so many P wings when I got the hammer my inventory was full so the next item I got wrote over that item I don't know how I use like a billion fucking P wings Uh oh oh thank goodness Uh, you, I got a P-Wing because of, uh, beating any percent no wrong warp. So, triple threat challenge, I don't reset. I'm gonna have this many P-Wings in 100% as well. Ooh! The D-Lag strats. So cheating, basically. What? This- the category- <laughs> Don't be a freaking turd. Ah, uh, no. You love me like a fat kid loves cake? Yes, good, good. My plan is working. P-Wings is a reward for being a super player. Yo, thanks for the hundred bits. Cut him some slack, guys. Coin ship. We'll spawn another coin ship. We can't, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Coin ship looks so cool. When I was a kid, I had no idea how to spawn a coin ship. Like, not even close. I had no clue. Uh, I am playing the original NES, that is correct. Yes, sir. Um, all in good fun, though, with everything we talked about. Just try and stay healthy. But at the same time, don't worry about other people judging you. It's not a big deal, right? I don't care if you guys smoke cigarettes or drink soda. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna change how I feel about you. So worry about yourself before you worry about how others worry about you kind of thing, right? No big deal. Thumbs up. That's all I gotta give to you. Just don't smoke soda or drink cigarettes. Now that's not... There is like... 
There is so many bottom of the barrel stories about myself that I could tell you guys that would put so much real context to like your own life where it's like, it's not that bad, trust me. We've all had pretty, pretty big lows in our lives, so. Most of you are pretty good. I did weed once. I woke up in a different state. A state of bliss. I was so fussy at the gym yesterday too, because they were like, I just wanted to go and sign up and then leave so I can start my workout stuff on the first of next month. And they just like, they're, they're so amped up, right? They're so, it's driving me crazy. And like, I'm a very independent, I'm not grumpy, but I am very, very much prefer to be left alone and not have everything all in my face when I go out. And they are just times 1,000 in there. And I I was okay with it, but they had to, I had to sign all these forms and I had to do all these things. And I was just like, can't I just fill out a form, sign that I'm not gonna sue you if I hurt myself because that's all you guys care about, right? And then get the hell out of there. But it's like, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. And it's just, there's so much shit going on. You guys don't even care. You can care about the 7-1 the right there. Don't worry, we got it first try. No pipe to pipe, guys. The chat said, I know, I'm like telling this story and all I see is everyone, yes, first try, first try, yes, yes, first try. Yeah, that's my story, guys. Yesterday, the gym was times 10, and I was at like, I was at like a times two when I walked through the doors. I wasn't, I was in for a big surprise. <laughs> I need an emote artist. Being overly excited helped with workout boredom. emotes on Twitch, but I need... I need, like, a change-up. I need some really good animated emotes, you know? <laughs> Mitch at the gym in the morning? Yeah, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do afternoons at the gym. Getting... Getting my health where I want it right now is, is actually more important to me than gaming at the moment. But I'm not quite there yet. And I figured I should do, I should do it now because it's the first time in my life where I've actually cared more about my health or just my fitness than anything else. So it's it seems like a pretty fun task to tackle. Like I don't know what the fuck to call it, man. I, I say it now before I start working out. Just wait until I start working. 
One weekend, I'm gonna be like, fuck this. Open up a can of soda, have a pizza, and start s s streaming Mario 3. What? How did I not jump there? What the fuck just happened? time I do a triple threat warp list, something, something goes wrong. Something weird goes wrong. How do you speed run the gym? It's called denial. Go there for 20 minutes. Hey, I got a good workout. Come home, have pizza. Why aren't I losing weight? That's how you speed run the gym. What? It's going on! Just for fuck off! Just die! The fuck, man! I can't keep a power up to save my life here! Yo, let's P- let's P speed this level. Well, that didn't last very long. Oh look! The but the, the jump button works! This Warpless Run is mega scuffed. But I like it, it's got personality. Did I have to call you out specifically? No. I didn't know if I was gonna make that. If this is the warpless run that gets no hands, ooh, I'm gonna karate chop my Nintendo. Five se no, 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 in, in, in all honesty though, when I go to the gym, what I'm gonna be doing most is the stomach machine, a lot of, a lot of stomach crunches, cause that's where the bulk of my weight is. You guys, if you guys looked at me right now, you guys would be like, Mitch is skinny, right? Ha ha ha! The power of hiding things off screen. I'm not not skinny, it's just, I have a, I do have a, a little bit of a belly and I want to get rid of it. And I want to tone, I want to tone down my legs. Show us your gut, what are you looking at my gut for? I'm gonna do a before and after picture, so you guys will definitely see what I look like now, and then do an after picture. I think before and after pictures are pretty- is a good thing to do. Targeted weight loss sadly is impossible. I picture like a robot saying it. Target weight loss, not possible. 0.01% chance of succeeding. Soda is your only option. You're gonna have to agree with what? With, with, with who and the what? I heard, like, laying on the ground and doing, like, crunches like that is not good for you. I'm telling you guys right now that, like, I will go to the gym and do the workout, but I, I can almost guarantee completely cutting out soda is gonna help me lose weight just, just with that alone. 
because I naturally have a very fast metabolism. I am older, right? I'm like, I'm what am I, 33 now? So my metabolism isn't as fast as when I was 19, but I've always been able to eat whenever, I've always been able to eat whatever I want and never gain weight. But that was also when I was a smoker too. Now, when I quit smoking, I gained a lot of weight. Yes, everyone knows that, blah, 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 blah. You guys have all heard the story before. However, I do drink a shit ton of soda, so I think my metabolism, I should be a lot fatter than I am. Because I do eat a lot of crap. I drink a shit ton of sodas, I eat pizza whenever I want, I have breaded chicken, I have, you know, I have it all, man. I, like, I eat whatever I want. And I'm not crazy fat. So I think my metabolism is still working pretty hard, I think I just need to... Get rid of the fucking soda, man. As I have a glass of soda beside me. Also, yes, ruins my teeth as well. So, yeah. So, when I go to the gym, I can just fucking ride, ride one of the cycles. Whatever. Fucking go for a bike ride, dude. The Stairmaster? My s- <laughs> Hey Mitch, you pretty much just told my story. I'm still at the smoking part, though. You're still at the beginning of the story? No, oh, Mitch is just as unhealthy as I am! Trust me, guys, I'm no... I... I ain't perfect, dude. The soda, I gotta stop the soda. Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do another 10 things that you guys didn't know about Mario 3. Yeah. I'm working on that YouTube video right now. Switch to diet? Nope. Diet soda, soda, everything soda. None of it is good for you. It's useless, there's nothing. It shouldn't even exist. There's no point in soda. Nothing. It tastes good. It makes you... Yeah, you like the taste. The beverage is good. It's poison. Just go to tea, Mitch! Diet soda is much better, though. I'm not looking for much better. I'm trying to eliminate... All together. Bro, once I get addicted to natural spring water, oof, baby. Mm. You love my emotes? Good, man. I do have good emotes. I just, I could have better and more emotes. See this? Soda. Pour a can of Coke with some ice? Mmm. Coke and ice is so good. You know, you know someone who's really good at emotes? I have a message you? Okay, so. This shouldn't offend you or your friend, because I don't know your friend, but I'm not looking for some up-and-coming artist who charges way more than what it's worth, and they don't know how to do business, and they're all sloppy, and all that crap. I'm not saying that they are, but I'm just giving a heads up. I'm not looking to have someone charge me a billion dollars for emotes because there's some up-and-coming new artists, and they're very independent and a special individual. No, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> and again, like I said, I don't know your person, so, uh, you know, this... No offense to anyone, but...
I've had a lot of artists come and go. I can't... I don't think I could draw Kermit the Frog. Saved. I don't drink coffee either. I think I think the hardest part about getting getting over soda is how much We'll see how much my my excitement and body like runs off of all the sugar and shit inside soda. Eee, bouncy bounce. So yeah, I mean, if your guy who does emotes and stuff like that is like super dope and like he really he really understands like the scene and everything, yeah, tell him to hit me up. You never drank soda. You gotta try it. So does dope. Don't, it's a trap. I'm sending you I'm setting you up for a downward spiral life of addictions and drugs. One sip of soda. But it's true though. Don't sit there and then don't sit there and pretend. Okay. Question: So how much should a basic emote cost? A basic emote cost? I have no idea. <laughs> I wish I knew that. I'm not in the business of doing it. But they have like, they have like websites that have like general templates of like emotes and how much time people spend on emotes and different artists do different things. Right? So, when I talk about having problem with, like, artists, it's like, the, the number one problem is, like, hand-holding. I really, really like an artist who can come to my page, look at my shit, and, and then, like, have a really good idea, creative, clever way of, like, turning it into something interesting, which is, like, what an artist is good for. That's, that's why I'm not an artist, because I can't do that with, like, art. But then you get an artist who's like, you're like, okay, I kind of want this, this, and that, and then they need their hand held, like, for, like, a week. Constantly show you, like, I don't know. Artists, the industry of doing art and emotes and stuff is hard for them, and I understand that. But just because it's hard for them doesn't mean I'm paying an arm and a leg for something, you know. And, like, there is a big problem with the art industry, where people are like, well, how much do you think this is worth? And like, people are like, I don't know, how long did it take you? And then the artist is like, it's not necessarily about time, it's about my art and my creativity. To me, it means a lot more, so it's worth more. But then the person buying the art is like, well, I don't, you know, it's, it's a big, big thing. And I understand it. It's just, I don't know where to go from there. I don't understand it, I understand that it's a big thing. Let me get, let me clarify that. Yeah, artists also dislike pricing art too, right? Yo, what up, Haxer? How you doing, man? I can't believe I missed the fireball! Alright, so we're starting our second New Game Plus. You won the gamble. Will Mitch suck ass for Warpless? Look at that, you won. Because I did. You did some Warpless but didn't get a PB? Yo, try and make sure that you can stream uh, Malka Bros. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Mala, Mala Bros or something. Try and... Try and figure out a way to stream because I can't really referee the Battle Royale if people aren't streaming. 
right? If you make it to the top 10, like, and you're not streaming, I feel like the other nine contestants are going to be a little frustrated because, you know. How do you monetize intrinsic? That's what I'm trying to say, right? That's what makes it very hard. So I don't want an artist who's like just starting out for the first time, overpricing all their stuff. They're not, they haven't been in the industry for a long time. They have, they still have lots to learn. That's all. You do a decent amount of woodworking for yourself. You can't imagine ever pricing it. I feel for artists, man. I, I hope the point that I'm trying to make isn't against artists. I'm for the ar artists, right? I'm, I'm definitely very much like, what can I do to help you? That's what I did with my, uh, my painting. Have you guys, hold on, th hold on. Have you guys seen this painting I got? Oh, I can't, I'm in the middle of a run. Mitch wants a high profile artist who underprices his work. Caught me. Caught me. I'll have you know that my starting soon artist, my starting stream and ending stream artist said that I was one of the best people that he's worked with. So also my world six painting that I got, she said that it was very easy to work with me too. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here, guys. Mitch is easy. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew someone was going to say that. Oh, very funny. Mitch is easy. I don't bend over for free. Nice try. Relax, you're not being serial? True, but some people might have thought you were being serial. Is these artists? Uh -huh, very funny. I wonder if they thought I was easy to work with because I paid I paid with nude photos of myself. I wonder if that's what made it so smooth. I'm, I'm not sure though. Pay artists with some of my nude photos, but they wanted they wanted post post gym Mitch. They wanted Mitch who's already gone to the gym for a couple months. That was a wake up call. Wake up call. So that's why. Yeah, the other artist said I was too hard to work with because I wanted some soda in return because my addiction. You know, guys, you know how it is. Why did I get the tail in that level if I was just going to... Mm, yes. 293! All right, well, all jokes aside, how's everyone doing today? You guys doing good? No tunnel in 100% ever. What's up, Neo Sad? Are you guys gonna laugh at me when I get braces on my bottom teeth? Not my top, though. I 
I've decided I'm probably gonna get braces on my bottom teeth. Because of these four, the four teeth, I have, because my two teeth are behind my other teeth. I gotta get, my. You called out of work for the Battle Royale tournament? Let's go, dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Why would you guys make fun of me for that? Because humans like to make fun of other humans. It's just like our thing. You lost me at braces on my bottom. I can't do Invisalign. The, uh, they're pushed, they're pushed back too much. I need, like, they already said that I need braces for the bottom if I want my bottom straight. But they pretty much, honestly, when I was at the dentist, they were like, nobody fucking sees your bottom teeth and nobody cares about your bottom teeth. Everyone looks at top teeth. And I was like, yeah, that's true. But I look at my bottom teeth, okay? And that's what counts. Who doesn't like a straight bottom, you know? You wish they had braces for your feet because your toes are crooked? You have crooked toes? Every once in a while, I get this random friend request on Discord, and I never know if I should accept them or not. Battle Royale is overtaking the Warpless Points Tournament for quarter one and two, yes. There's probably gonna be a quarter four points tournament, but the reason, the reason I decided to hold off on the points tournament is one, it takes a lot to set up. Two, I wanted to do the Battle Royale. And three, um, Narf Man is doing his own Warpless tournament through Speed Gaming, which is just a vanilla Warpless tournament. And I want other people to do other things with Mario 3. Bye followers. Yeah, buy them. And then when you stream, you get no viewers. Yeah, money worth spent. Yeah, uh, buy followers. Yeah, that's a scammer. I don't even know. to be famous by doing no work at all. You can use whistle and no wrong warp. That is correct. You use two whistles and no wrong warp. It took me more time to equip the star than if I would have just bought it. I already have a lot of followers, that's right. So here, who here has noticed that I've been doing a lot of YouTube content lately. I've been I've been focusing pretty hard on my YouTube. And have you guys been enjoying it? Has it been satisfactory? Like has it been keeping up for the fact that, that I'm not streaming? I hope. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. 
Yes, I have a YouTube. Go follow it, please. Go subscribe to my YouTube. You guys smell an MFP pitch coming on? Can you sense it already? <laughs> no, no, I don't have a pitch. Join my YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, my YouTube has a join button. Join it now. There's my pitch. Yo, welcome back. That's right. You got to join the YouTube. No, so most Mario 3 speedrunners know of this category and none of them have done this once So the popularity has already been determined And honestly, I like I like all collectibles way more than I like this category All collectibles is way better than this category and no, not a single runner has done an all collectibles run, so those runs will not be on category extensions. You love the Treacherous Thursday? Treacherous Thursday don't do well on YouTube, unfortunately. The Treacherous Thursday streams are fun. Maybe since I'm not streaming a massive amount, I could bring Treacherous Thursdays back and kind of definitely make that a thing. That's not a bad idea. I'm always looking for better ways to put smiles on your guys' faces. Uh, Treacherous Thursday was me playing shitty hard games on Thursday nights. You love the secrets video? What's the secrets video? Hey, I still have the world record in Ghostbusters, okay? Dude, I'm not gonna play B Visage anymore. Too scary. Too grindy. Well, it's not grindy, but... Oh, the 25 things. Yeah, I'm gonna make another video. 10 more things you didn't know about Mario 3, so keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to my YouTube to make sure you, you get all the juicy. Sekiro, I've never played Sekiro. I'm excited for Elden Ring and the Nightfall Dark Souls mod. Any of you who have me on Steam have probably seen me play Dark Souls a lot. I do really like Dark Souls. So here's an interesting question. Is Dark Souls still popular or is it Distortion that's popular? I think it's Distortion that's popular, right? Right, is Dark Souls speedrunning popular still or is it Distortion that's popular and keeps Dark Souls so anyone else isn't as popular? That's my question. They have a pretty dedicated community. I haven't done Dark Souls Rando, that sounds fun. What's Distortion? The Happy Hob? I am not- Hey, Late Voodoo, welcome back for 13 months. I am not a part of the Dark Souls community at all, and I've been pretty interested. Ellen Ring? Who here hates the name Elden Ring? I don't know why, I just... Dark Souls... Bloodborne... Sekiro... Elden Ring. I don't... I don't... I don't know, I don't... I don't like Elden Ring. I don't know why. surprise. It's okay, I got P-Wings. Yeah, I got P-Wings. What am I doing? Let's go. 
I wasn't actually gonna go for this fire flower, but I just so happened to like get stuck on the the flippers, so that worked, I guess. Oh, you never heard of At the Drive-In before? Anytime someone hears a band called At the Drive-In, they think it's probably some like weird emo emotional band, because it's like At the Drive-In or like Panic at the Disco, you know, those like sh like I don't know. But it's not. They're definitely more of a modern punk. Of the of the late nineties, early two thousand. Fucking love at the driving. Well go look at my YouTube. I did a drum cover. How much more do I need to cram my content down your guys' throats before you start watching it? <laughs> I don't wanna be a throat crammer, guys. I don't wanna be a throat content crammer, but you guys make me. You guys make me. You guys are gonna get deep throated with my content. Cram them throats. I've never seen At the Drive-In live, and I don't and I don't really listen to At the Drive-In much anymore. It's just I used to, and the song isn't difficult on the drums, and it's still fun, so I figured why not? It makes you love me that much more. Oh, well, thank you very much. Down with the clown, like Charlie Brent. Brent, Brent. Wow, what a terrific audience. Y'all right on. Take a good, nice, juicy nap. Rage Against the Machine. I, was, I wasn't a huge Rage uh, fan. Didn't really care much for their music. You guys, I'm gonna hurt a lot of everyone's feelings when I say this. I never really cared much for Tool either. I am super big into music, and like, I love a lot of music, but I really don't care much for Tool. And I always hurt people's feelings when I say that, and I am very sorry. Although, Tool does have one song that I really absolutely love, and it's called Vicarious. And it's on the album 10,000 Days, I think. I think that's what it is. And I love, I love that song. I think that's one of my favorite songs ever. I love it, I think it's great. But I don't care much for Tool. I'm sorry. Hi fam, what's going on? I, I can't say I like every genre of music. I'm not a huge fan of country. Just cause like, so I don't hate country because I hate country, which is why a lot of people hate country because you gotta, if you're gonna hate a genre, you, you hate country, right? I just, I get bored with country very fast. Most country has a pretty decent beat. The lyrics are pretty good, right? Like they're consistent. Wait, why did I- why am I getting this? Right? It's just- country's just so easy to hate. I just get bored. It's- it's boring. That's all. It just got boring. There's nothing wrong. It's not like- it's not like country music is a stain on the music industry. It's very important music. It's just, eh, boring. Nobody can rock 4-4 better than country artists. Let's just, let's just put that right there. Uh, 
I also am not a huge fan of Metallica either. I respect people who love Metallica. I've got no nothing wrong with... I just, I don't care much for Metallica. What? Get out. Yeah, Metallica has some pretty decent hits. I'll, I'll agree. I just don't care for him. I know. As a musician myself, it's like, I know, like, I respect it, but I don't like it. Lars is not a very good drummer, yeah. I'm still trying to get good, yep. Thoughts on Nickelback? I've never listened to Nickelback enough to know anything about them. The only thing I know about Nickelback is what was popular when I was like 13 years old. Look at this photograph. Like I, I think there was a music video of that song that was on. I like Lamb of God. I like Lamb of God. Lamb of God's fucking sick. Lamb of God has very overused drum parts. Like, Chris Adler used some of the same fills. Like, I'm pretty sure Chris Adler used the same fill on his drum set in, like, 20-plus songs, right? He was, he was like, a creative, uncreative drummer. It's very weird. Chris Adler is a very strange drummer. Yeah, Lamb of God's pretty fucking good. Um, I like a couple Black Sabbath songs. I'm, I'm unfortunately a generic fan where I like like the three hits that they did that everyone else likes too, unfortunately. So I can't consider myself a Black Sabbath fan. I'm more of like a sheep when it comes to Black Sabbath. I like like four of their songs. They're their most popular. They're the best, right? I don't know the names of any albums. Um, and Iron Maiden, I actually, in high school, I went through, like, a very small Iron Maiden thing. It lasted, like, maybe three weeks. Killers is an amazing album. See, I don't know much album. Like, Iron Maiden has so many freaking albums. Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. I, I have not listened to enough Judas Priest to have any form of comment on them whatsoever, unfortunately. Killers are also a great band. Killers are good, but they can be a little depressing at times, right? And that, that leads me right into Deftones. I had a Deftones phase hardcore. Hardcore Deftone phase, but also Deftones are extremely situational and like kind of depressing a little bit so i don't listen to them often but my favorite song by deftones is a song called passenger that's one of my favorite songs by them Yeah, Deftones was there for me, like, my first year of college was, like, doing drugs, relationships were all out of whack. Great time to listen to Deftones, but I mean, any other time, wasn't into it. Uh, yes, he is, Draco, that is true.
The Somersault Tour back in 2000. No, I don't remember that. Animals as Leaders? I did an Animals as Leaders drum part on my YouTube actually a couple days ago. Er, no, it was... Oh my god, nice jump, bro. It was like a week or two ago. Horrible run? I don't even care. I'm having a lot of fun with you, with everyone. You guys get to see Super Swim. You see that? Oh, come on, dude. It's fucking bullshit, man. I wanted to get the crazy pop and swim. Would have been awesome. I kind of gravitate lately. As I get older, I gravitate to a lot more bands that don't have singing. Instrumentals. I'm very instrumental. I haven't listened to Led Zeppelin in a long time either. If I do listen to Led Zeppelin, what are some of my favorite Zeppelin songs? I like... So Cashmere is always such a fucking dope Zeppelin song. It's slow, but it's so like... It's... it's great. Um, I also like... Uh, Fool in the Rain. Fool in the Rain is a good song. Oh, come on. What is it doing? Like, what even was that? It's so jank. Immigrant song's okay. Immigrant song's okay. Um, what other Zeppelin songs do I like? I like Cashmere. I like Fool in the Rain. I mean, you can't you can't dislike Dire Maker, right? Wait, how do you pronounce that song? It's not Dire Maker. It's like it's something weird, isn't it? Over the hills and far away. That's a pretty good song. Yeah. I mean, it's hard for me to hate a Zeppelin song. Yo, thank you for the good lucks. When the Levee Breaks is actually a pretty good song. When the Levee Breaks is like the perfect song for you to like... ...learn how to play drums to. It's just hard enough, but just easy enough for you to take it on as like a newbie. Thank you very much. Welcome back for six months. Whoa, what are you talking about, Ben? I haven't heard... I can't remember the last time I heard Stairway to Heaven.
there was a pretty interesting documentary that I watched on YouTube that shows that like old music is still more popular than some new music. Controversial music opinion, Pink Floyd is boring. Uh, yeah, Pink Floyd songs can be pretty boring sometimes. Depends on what mood you're in. Have you guys ever tried to fall asleep to Pink Floyd? It actually works pretty well. Like, if you throw on, like, Comfortably Numb, while you're just laying in bed with your eyes closed trying to sleep, like, that's good music to sleep to. I don't do it, I'm just saying it, it works. I haven't fallen asleep to music in a very long time. I've heard Scale the Summit, yeah. Old rap better than new rap? Old rap is so like seems so raw and like real, right? Old rap just always seems so like, I don't know. Is it weird when you say like old rap is good because they had to work harder for it, making it just ultimately better in quality by like a million? Is that something that a lot of people would disagree with or agree with? See, I feel the opposite when it when it comes with rock, right? I feel like rock was such a saturated market in like the 70s and 80s. Like it was just like that's all you got in like thrown in your face was rock. So now when you do rock, it better be fucking impressive these days because it's been done, buddy. So it's just like some music now is just so incredibly precise and well thought out. The things that people are doing on their instruments nowadays are just so far beyond the skill level of like old music. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with the instruments because they're just people are so fucking good. Oh, it's it's insane. Yeah, that's true. Music's all relative. Well, really. I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Fuck off, right? Just say that to anyone who has a problem with what you like. Fuck you. Hurdy gurdy? No. Luke Holland is a machine. He's probably close to one of my favorite drummers as well. I really don't listen to his like music stuff. But he's a very good drummer. Mario 3 Battle Royale, man, I can't wait. It's coming up. It's so close. You saw my Animals as Leaders drum cover on YouTube? Right on, dude. It's not really much of a cover, I just, it was just one part from a song. Yo, enjoy the fight, man, good luck. I'm like hitting my stride. I'm dominating this world now. I 
I saw the Pokemon first person shooter game. Yeah, that looks, it fucking looks epic. Please don't get shut down. There's just something so satisfying about taking a shotgun to Pikachu's face. It's already shut down? Oh no. It didn't even get released. A demo, a demo. That's all that we got, right? We were given a demo. Oh wait, it was out for four days and then, yeah. Nintendo dropped the hammer, bros. So, is Nintendo... How is Nintendo gonna compete with the combination of... It's Blizzard and Microsoft are together right now, right? So... We got Microsoft and Sony, and then Nintendo, and that's... Right, am I missing something? Well, Sony and Microsoft, they do a lot of cross-platforming, but they all... too viral. I just want to know what's going to happen with Nintendo. What's going to happen with Nintendo? I guess nothing? Ooh, that was scary. That was very scary, but we made it. Isn't the Switch doing well? Do you guys think, do you guys think that with all the trouble with Metroid Prime 4, do you guys think that Metroid Prime 4 is possibly gonna be one of the last? This is just such a headache at this point that they're like, we're not dealing with that shit ever again. I'm not saying the Switch isn't doing well or anything. I'm just saying, like, what is the Switch and Nintendo going to do to to keep, keep on, keep on? Y you think they'll keep putting out? Like, you think we'll eventually see a Metroid Prime 5 or... Well, we're obviously going to see continuations of the, of the Metroid series. It's Prime... Not, time for new Prime members. Let's go, dude. Yo, Falling Taco, welcome back for one year, dude. You made it. Thank you. They need the trilogy remastered. Nintendo, I've I've been saying this for like the past like two years now. Nintendo would absolutely blow the entire market away if they made a brand new official NES game. They would sell, I don't even want to know how many copies that they would sell. You could say, you could say it would cost them too much money, it's a stupid idea, I'm telling you, there's no way that's a stupid idea. If they made an official, original NES game, brand new, who wouldn't buy it? I don't know anyone who wouldn't buy it. Production would be tough, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't want to go too deep into the hole. It's gonna, it'll cost them too much for all the plastic and all this other shit. 
production isn't even designed in the way to develop games that easily, like manufacture or whatever, but still, fucking would be so cool. Super Mario 5 on the original NES? Holy shit. Mega Man 9 was pretty close to that, yeah. bought Mega Man 9 because it was easy. It was on the virtual store for the Wii. It was on the Xbox 360 arcade. It wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't an NES cartridge that people had to buy an NES to play, so yeah. An official Mario 5 on the original NES. They did it weird though. They did like an NES mini and stuff and then Right? I don't know, it's just... <laughs> Duck Hunt 2, shoot the dog. I don't know, I'm just being silly guys, talking about random silly stuff. Like, I always thought, like, a Mario MMORPG, that would be so weird, right? I don't know if I'd play it, and I definitely have no idea how they do it, but wouldn't it be super weird? Some MMORPG, it's kind of like... It's kind of like... I don't know. Yeah, fighting toads in a forest everywhere. Yeah, create your own toad. It's just sometimes I'm just... Ugh. Aren't you guys tired of Zeldas? And Metroids? Am I the, am I the first person to say this? Like, isn't anyone tired of that? My goodness. I love Zelda and Nintendo and Mario. That's some of my favorite game series, but like... I mean, I guess they released them so slowly that it it's hard to get tired of them, right? You're tired of Pokemon games? I am super hyped for Metro Prime 4. I am super hyped. I know I love the Prime series. I'm just asking if you guys are tired of it all. Sometimes I'm tired of it. Like, when was the last time we got like a really good official Mario game? It was like the Bowser Fury, right? It was an add-on. Mario Party doesn't count. Super Mario World? I don't think so. Yeah, Odyssey. When did Odyssey come out? It was November of 2017. I got nothing against Pokemon games. There, people love Pokemon, and I don't. So I don't lose my shit for Pokemon. But I, I like that everyone like. I like that people like Pokemon. It's something to like. Pokemon is pretty dope. I never kept up with it or anything, but I'm happy that people enjoy Pokemon. Right? That's good. It's a good thing. People like the games. I don't know if anyone likes the cards, but sometimes I see people doing like opening card pack streams, like. So, opening cards is still, like, a cool thing. Like, I like that. I liked Pokemon when I was a kid, so... F all the haters. I really liked Pokemon as a kid. I, 
I, had, I, I also liked Digimon as a kid, so there might be something wrong with me. Digimon Season 1 show? Anyone else? Yeah, see I watch Digimon and shit like that. Yeah, Pokemon is a game series that is extremely popular that I am not involved in, but I have nothing against it. Not, not a single thing. I hope to see Pokemon 20 years from now. Probably will. I didn't have any Digimon toys. I had Pokemon cards and Digimon cards. I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh! I think that was just a little too late. I discovered girls before Yu-Gi-Oh! So that makes sense. Never got into Yu-Gi-Oh! in my teenage years. I transitioned out of watching, like, anime cartoons as a teenager and focused more on, like, skateboarding. I was very, very big into skateboarding, so... I didn't watch much animated cartoons or anything. I was more like Simpsons, Seinfeld. I mean, fa fa you have to remember this is like 2004, so Family Guy, right? Family Guy, Simpsons, South Park, Seinfeld. I mean, I watched the occasional Everyone Loves Raymond. When I watch TV, those are the things that I watched or like movies. And yeah, I spent most of my time skateboarding. So I didn't really watch Yeah, I watched a couple episodes of Frasier, sure. I mean, whatever. Yeah, but... Yeah, I kind of fell off with, like... And then I got reinvented with anime again when I watched Death Note. Death Note started me back on the trail to, like, anime. So I watched Death Note for the first time and was like... This show's fucking amazing. And then I found Attack on Titan, which was another amazing show. Yeah, I watched The Office. Office is a good show, sure. Fuck yeah, it's a good, sh it's a great show. Boy Meets World. I no, I never. I watched Safe by the Bell instead of Boy Meets World. Again, when I was a, a younger, younger one. Boy Meets World, GG. I love that GG. So it's like straight up, he's like no contest. Need a Metroid anime? <sighs> Isn't Metroid one of those games though where like you don't need dialogue, you don't need story. Like learning a little bit about Samus every game is like good, but other than that, like we don't need... I don't know, Metroid just doesn't seem like a game to me where we need crazy storylines or anything. It's like some badass hot chick in a suit fucking up aliens on a planet, upgrading her suit, doesn't get any better than that, right? I think a really good Metroid anime would be cool. How do you capture that atmosphere landing on a planet? I don't know, maybe you could do it with the show. It'd probably work. They, they, know, they know how to make shit work. Yeah, they know, they know how shit works. I don't know how shit works on television. They do. Yo, you got your hat? Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Your sexy level went up like plus five by wearing the hat. Everyone looks good in an MFP hat. Big payout for shroomers? That sounds awful.
Beep, 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 beep. What about a Dark Souls movie? Another triple threat, huh? I can see Netflix doing a limited series of anything and everything. I actually just recently watched that Christian Bale movie for the first time. It's The Machinist, and he's like super skinny. Never saw that movie before. The Machinist spoiler? Bruce Willis was a ghost the whole time. Yeah, it's the one where you can't sleep, The Machinist. A Netflix series about Hulu, and it's just a bunch of episodes about how bad it is. Yeah, Hulu has a... I can't remember, because I haven't used Hulu in quite a while, but it has a really annoying feature when it comes to either playing episodes or skipping intros or something. I can't remember what it is, but it's, it's really annoying that they don't have that feature. I can't remember what the feature is. I just remember they don't have something that's really effective on like Netflix. Hulu has paid ads. Doesn't Hulu also do like it does their seasons backwards in order, right? So when you click on a show that has like 30 seasons like Survivor, it starts you at season 30 or something like that. I can't remember. They do cancel shows with no ending, that's right. But I mean... What do you, like, it's not Netflix's fault. Or maybe it is. Maybe if Netflix didn't go around like a city horror and accept everything and try and create everything. Listen, we have all spent more time looking for a movie to watch than the length of the movie that you decide to watch. We've all done it. I watched all the seasons of Cobra Kai. Yeah, complaining about a show getting canceled and then realizing you're their only viewer. I still haven't watched the original Ninja Turtles movie, the one we watched as kids. I don't want to cringe at it, man. I don't, I'm scared that it doesn't age well. I, I love it. I, I love... I love the Ninja Turtles movie. When I was a kid, I lost my shit for that. That was like the greatest movie, but... I'm worried I'm gonna cringe at it and it's gonna be awful. It does not age well. But 
The first- okay, then maybe I'll watch it tonight or something. The first teenage- Oh, it's awful? Isn't there a part where you can see one of the guy's face under the mask and he's like, he's got- you can see his teeth or something? It's when they're in like April's apartment or something? Oh, it's his eyes. Yeah, you can like- it's really creepy. It's like really creepy. No, the Super Mario Brothers movie does not hold up. I tried it a couple years ago. It's like one of the first movies I've ever stopped halfway through. I didn't know that there was a Double Dragon movie. You got a PB and Mario fully nude percent? What is that? Like, were you nude or was Mario nude? Yo, I love Chris Farley. I love most of Chris Farley's stuff. Tommy Boy will always hold up. Chris Farley's story will always bring tears to my eyes. Like, if I watch the documentary of Chris Farley, I will always tear up. It's impossible not to. It's impossible not to. Tommy Boy, I think, is better than Black Sheep. You know what doesn't hold up? The Matrix. I never cared about the Matrix movies at all. I didn't... Okay, Matrix 4. How did it go? I didn't hear anyone say anything about Matrix 4. Four was- four, so four- I knew it was- I fucking knew it was gonna be bad. I mean, I'm only saying that now because it is bad. If it was good, I knew it would be good, I swear. They fucking ruined it. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Okay? I'm telling you right now. I know none of you want to hear this, but just wait for Back to the Future 4. Yep. I just ruined it. Just wait, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming, and it's gonna be the worst thing. Oh my God. Just wait for it. Back to the Future 4. Back to the Future sucks though. Time, time, you're timed out for 10 minutes, Colt. Can somebody time out Colt for 10 minutes? Sorry, somebody saying Back to the Future wasn't good is like all discombobulating me. I can't play properly now. Honestly, I'm, I'm okay with Back to the Future 2 being kind of like Back to the Future 1, but like... The idea of how they connect everything is like...
I don't know. I, li I like Back to the Future. I think most people like it. Is anyone gonna go see The Godfather in theaters? Or did it already happen? When Wait, when is it happening? It's ha- when is it happening? What? Why did I do that? Everyone's Googling Godfather in theaters. No, 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 no. They're they're reviewing Godfather in the theaters, and I can't remember what what day or when they're doing it. Uh, no, it's not you, it's me. I'm alive! Wrong warp to the end. What, it was all of Twitch? Good old Twitch. Nobody panic, it was just a twitch moment. God damn it, Butters. I love that name. Yeah, so you can kind of tell it was Twitch because I didn't lose any frames during that. I can't believe The Matrix 4 was that bad. Like, people... Somebody tell the Nest Master to refresh. I can't believe The Matrix 4 was that bad. I heard no hype, so I guess... So you guys can spoil it for me because I don't care about the Metro or the Matrix trilogy. So what happened? So was he was he just like reborn, but he doesn't know he was the one? And then same with Trinity, she was reborn, and then they met, and because he's the one, he it's inevitable that he always becomes the one or something. Wait, Trinity was the one the whole time? Oh, it's too much explaining for a movie? Okay, I get it. Yeah, if it's too much to explain, then don't worry about it. They are both the one. I see, I see. Their love is what found everything. I get it. It's too much going on.
The power of love saved them all. Don't spoil it, you haven't seen it? Listen, bro, okay? <laughs> it was horrible, no need to watch it all. Mitch said it was okay. I did. Yeah, I said it was okay. I don't care about spoils. Not of that movie. YouTube is gonna be pissed. Oh, because the spoils? I don't, I don't know if we barely spoiled it. I mean, it's not like Neo being the one was much of a secret. And then... You know. Doesn't everyone just believe that Agent... What was his name? Agent Smith is the real one? Remember that video that went viral a long time ago? Proving that one of the agents was actually the one? That's a great fan theory. Yeah, right? Watching the story about the agent being the one blew my mind more than watching the movies. Try and bend the spoon. the dude's name who plays Morpheus. It's such an easy name to remember too, but I always forget it. He, it was, so I'm assuming he saw like the Matrix 4 script and was like, fuck this. I'm going back to being Pigeon Man in John Wick movies. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> You heard they didn't even call them? Was there, like, a Matrix 4 book before a movie? Yes, 100% requires you to do the hand stages. That is correct. like one and a half second per hand animation. I think in the 100% world record, I got one hand animation, I think, right?
No, I don't think the 100% category will ever get down to hand animations because because the Hammer Brother movements, right? I mean, you could get five movements of four in World 5 and most most of the rest, like the rest of the run doesn't even matter anymore because all that time there. That's why like door three and Jesus clip will never be mandatory because I mean, you could get you could get door three and Jesus clip and then you can get a movement of six in world six and all that time save is gone just from Hammer Brother movements. You'd have to get really friggin lucky for those things to be like mandatory. But if door three and Jesus clip are mandatory, you have much bigger problems than door three and Jesus clip. You gotta get good Hammer Brothers. An ideal perfect run is more focused on the Hammer Brother movements than um, than door three and Jesus clip. Like, you have a better chance of having an unbeatable run with better Hammer Brother movements and no door three and Jesus clip. You have a much better chance of an unbeatable run with those than you do with mediocre Hammer Brothers, but Jesus clip and door three. I mean, yeah, technically a perfect run would be, it's, it's, so, Hammer Brother movements are not always a movement of one to be the most ideal, but if you got all the most ideal Hammer Brother movements in the game, and door three and G, like, that would be, I don't even know what that is. Like, you could probably shave another 20 seconds off my run with better Hammer Brother movements, I'd say, right? Maybe? 15 or 20 seconds off the 100% run with just better Hammer Brother movements. And I got really good Hammer Brother movements in the 100% world record. Except for World 5. World 5, I definitely lost like 6 or 7 seconds just from Hammer Brother movements, which is a lot. I do have a star, so let's try Bowser's Basement. I feel like I could have one cycled them there. Not the best gameplay triple threat challenge, but we did manage to get through. Unfortunately, we lost a good chunk of time, but we had a lot, a lot of fun with everything we talked about. We covered so many topics and I think yeah lots of lots of fun conversations so that was a that was a very fun triple threat I had a lot more fun um, with this triple threat than I have with some in the past so yeah hope you I hope you all enjoyed it and yeah Whee!